pivot is a great tool to analyze data but since our indian financial year system doesn't overlap with calendar year there are some reporting limitations now let's see what that limitations are and how to overcome this limitation i am buying transaction wise sale data of some xyz company let's see okay it's from april 14 to up to march 22 so it's from financial year 14 15 to 21 22 so let's say i create a pivot so control s select this go to insert click pivot table click okay now i drag amount into the values since i want to total and i drag the dates into the rows now if you see this is coming calendar year wise okay and even quarters are different because as you know globally calendar year and financial year overlaps but in our indian system it's not true okay even quarter is different so let's see how do we reconcile this in excel i am interested in output something like this so let's say this is an my financial year column and here something like this should come fy space now this is 1516 so 2015-16 and quarter quarter so quarter for us it's q3 in our indian scenario so let's see how to achieve a result like this let me walk you through the solution let's start building up the logic for this so we would require two supporting column for this one for year and another for a month so i'll be using two functions year which will extract year from this date and another function called month which will extract month number from this date so we do require decimals so i can format this as number okay so this would be deciding for us so now let's let me copy paste this in here now if you notice our financial consist of fy space and this is the beginning year or start and this is an end year so based on the month number we would decide that whether this date falls in in which financial year so let's say if date is a month is from april to december then we should keep the same year and if month is 1 2 3 jan feb march then start or beginning of the financial year is this year minus 1 okay so we will require two columns begin end so let me formulate an if so if this month number is greater than or equal to four that mean it is from april to december then our start year is this year otherwise our start year would be one year less than this minus 1 and naturally end year would be the begin year or start year plus 1 okay now this date is in financial year 1819 okay now let's formulate this text fy this so is equal to in double quotes i would write fy space and then we need to concatenate so and operator the begin year okay so let me select this okay fy space this whatever beginning year again concatenate with in double quotes that mean a textual dash okay now this one is a tricky because we require only last two digits of this now how to extract last two digits so you can simply divide this by 100 and the remainder of this would be last two digits so there is so i will concatenate so there is function called mod or modulus mod so i will say that divide this ending year with 
100 and extract or fetch its reminder so its reminder is 19 so in this way we even automatically formulated financial year let us check for a few years i'll copy and paste it and check it okay so if month is two so this date falls in financial year 15 16 perfect okay so this seems to be working for us now let's formulate the logic for quarter now this one is a bit simple so using ifs function this would very much simplify us so is equal to ifs so this would based on the month number so let's say if month number is 10 11 12 that means the month is greater than 9 it is q3 so if this number is greater than 9 that means 10 11 12 then naturally q3 should come if this month number is greater than 6 then q2 month number is greater than 3 then q1 that means april may june otherwise so forcefully we will write true so that this ends here otherwise it is q4 that means jan feb march is q4 let us validate okay this one is perfect this one is perfect okay so this way we have formulated logic for all this now let me copy paste this so i would remove this okay i will first copy this the top row go to bottom and fill down okay so this one is there now let us insert pivot and again see in this an action okay i would select all this data again go to insert pivot table new pivot table okay and let us drag this financial year quarter and let's now drag this out okay now this seems sensible so just to show you the comparison this one and this one this seems a better one or better suited to our indian scenario if you like this technique please do subscribe to my youtube channel